What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups and in this video we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 1 Classic. Did it fail? So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so as you guys probably know, the PlayStation 1 Classic reviews have came out and they've been rather lackluster, not really anything cool or anything new or fancy, but we'll get into that in a little bit. I want to just say, sorry there's no live stream tonight. I've been extremely busy. I was out of town for the holidays and I just got back yesterday and I'm kind of trying to get everything situated and back in order. So I decided to make this short little video for you guys uh, because I wouldn't be able to stream tonight. So what we're talking about is the PlayStation 1 Classic. So I'm going to start off by listing off the games that it comes with, that way you guys can see that, and then we will get into the actual reviews and what I think about it. Okay, so I have the list here on my phone. It has Battle Arena Toshiden, Cool Borders 2, Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy 7, which is awesome, Grand Theft Auto, Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, Metal Gear Solid, Mr. Driller, Odd World, Abe's Odyssey, Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Revelations Persona, Ridge Racer Type 4, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, and Wild Arms. Now, at first glance, that looks like a somewhat decent list and uh, the games are fun and whatnot, but when you think of the PlayStation 1, most of these games you just don't think of. Most of these games are potentially on other systems and uh, they just don't seem like the heavy hitters that you would expect PlayStation and Sony to come out right with. And so that was a warning, kind of a red flag that kind of scared me a little bit when this was first uh, fully announced with the full games list. I saw it and I was like, it's okay, it's alright, it's nothing too special. The games that are on the list I have that I want to play and the other games are just games that I think are all right. So with that being said, I'm kind of going to move past that and talk about whether or not the PlayStation Classic is going to fail or not. So reviews have just started coming out and man, man are they not good. I read one article that was talking about how this is the uh, first step into 3D back in the day and man did it not age good. It's just clunky. Uh, I mean, if you play a PS1 game now, you understand that the graphics aren't going to be as good, the controls aren't going to be as good. It was the real first step into 3D, and so that's kind of forgivable for me. That's not something that really affects my judgment on this. But what does affect my judgment is some of the things I've been seeing about this. Now, I did see some footage of the... Uh, interface and it just looks absolutely terrible. I'm telling you, the Sony PlayStation guys who worked on this failed so hard. And that's something that is worth saying because if you ever watched uh, the startup of the PlayStation, it was oftentimes fun and kind of cool looking. But now, looking at this blue screen with just box art on it, it looks pretty boring, nothing crazy. You don't get any animations whenever you go to the game. You don't hear any music from the game itself. Uh, and those are some things that I could see like taking this and really building upon it. Maybe show me cool borders with a snowboarder jumping off a ramp or maybe destruction derby, a car blowing up or uh, whatever it is, whatever game you select maybe you are seeing some dialogue be below it and maybe some theme song or something like that something to get you interested to play the game i think that would make this a lot better it seems like this kind of feels like 
a, a knockoff kind of thing. Like when, when you get the NES or the SNES and you boot that thing up, you are hit with the nice and pristine and clean interface. It looks great. You know how to navigate it. It has little uh, noises when you click to the next one. It has all these cool things and that's something that I think is really lackluster in the PlayStation Classic. It's just kind of, kind of, ugh. It's nothing great. It doesn't look great, honestly. I feel like Sony could have done so much better with this. And also, the save states, you could only have one at a time, which I think is okay. It's not a big deal, but it's a little annoying. Um, but other than that, you got your normal D-pad controller. You don't have the analog sticks, which is another big thing for me. Because when I play it, honestly, I don't use the D-pad as much as I probably do the analog sticks. And that's something that I think is going to be weird for people that didn't grow up back then. Maybe people that were growing up around the PS2 or the PS3 or even the PS4. They're going to be used to those two joysticks and not having that is just kind of okay. Now I might pick this up if I can um, just because I kind of want to do a video about it uh, for you guys. That way you guys can see whether or not you should buy it or not. Um, I think it might be hard to find. It might be easy to find. I'm not quite sure right now um, but I'm definitely going to pick it up probably just for this channel alone. I may play a few of the games but don't expect me to love this thing just as a fair warning. But I think it could be cool if they somehow give you a way to patch it or better yet if someone can put a better interface on it and maybe hack it and put some more games on it I think that's when it's really going to be worth it now I am hoping that Sony decides hey we're going to make some DualShock co controllers for you guys it'll just cost more if they do that I'll be okay with not having them in the console when it comes uh, pre-packaged if they sell it separately you know that a lot of people are gonna buy that and then probably try to hack this thing so that's what I think about it do I think it's a fail I think it's definitely a flop for sure there's nothing good about this from what I've seen I've seen reviews say it just feels weird the controller I've heard is mushy and the interface is gross looking and overall it's okay I've even heard some issues about PAL version games being on it, which run at 50 hertz instead of 60 hertz, which is what the Americans' games or versions of the games are, which could sl slow down or cause tearing or cause a bunch of unwarranted issues because these games have been pirated and uh, used for ROMs and emulators and emulators have been playing these things for years and if they can't get it down if Sony can't get this down I think there's something wrong here and hopefully they find a way to fix that but we will see I'll definitely be interested in getting one if you guys are gonna get one comment below and let me know if you aren't gonna get one tell me why what's the tipping point for you what's keeping you from buying one so with that being said, I just want to say thank you very much. Don't forget about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Big Cartel, Patreon. All this stuff is down below in the description. Now that Patreon is more of a donation or a tip jar, go check it out if you are interested at all. If not, no biggie. Also, with that being said, I just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification because it lets you guys know when I post a video or go on the live stream. So with that being said, I definitely want to say thank you very much. Have a good day.